Okay, so today we are going to have the next update in Toilet Tower Fence and I'm going to stream it. So this is going to be the episode 72 part 1 update. When I made this stream, I had it set for like the time that it updates, but like I, I changed it maybe like a few hours ago for like one hour before the update because I did the math wrong. So anyways, the hunt is going to be ending in this update. So that means no more man face man, no more eggs, no more of this thing. So um, if you didn't do that yet, I would recommend within the last hour that you find those eggs because they are not hard to find. So far, like, I think 2 million people have beaten it. But anyways, yeah, this update is going to be pretty good because we have two really big things a lot of people have been asking for. So, like, the first big thing is, like I said in my video yesterday, if you guys didn't see that yet, we are finally going to be fixing Endless Mode. So, like, a lot of issues on Endless Mode, well, the main two issues that people have been abusing on Endless Mode are going to be fixed. Pretty much almost everyone on the leaderboard right now, there are probably some people who haven't, but, like, most people had to use like uh there are two glitches well not really glitches but just things that could be abused thanks to ttd player one for becoming a channel member for two months they said tell if there can you add me yes i can okay so um yeah join the discord if you're a channel member so that you get like the it like has automatic roles, but join like my YouTube one, discord.gg slash telanthric. But anyways, okay, back to what I was saying. Endless mode, two really big things that are going to be fixed this update finally. The first one is leaving and then like your units disappear and then someone can place their units over them. So you can have like multiple units in the same area, which is really overpowered because not only can you have multiple units that take the same good position, but that would also mean that they can be boosted by just, like, one booster unit. So that's just, like, really overpowered, and that is going to be fixed. Because I've seen a lot of people that have, like, maybe three or even four people, and all of them place the same unit in the same area. So there's just, like, like four of a unit in the same place, and that's just really overpowered. So, the next thing that's fixed in this update is whenever you leave Endless Mode, you know how before the health, like, lowered a lot? So, people were literally just, like, if there was a duo or a trio, one person would be designated to stay in the game the whole time, but the other people would just leave at the beginning when stuff spawns, and then stuff would spawn with lower health. Like, they'd spawn out the health of only having one person in the server, and then everyone else would rejoin, and then boom, it goes, well, it, it stays low health, but all their units come back. So they're doing, like, double or triple the damage. Originally, this feature was just added so that if you're playing with the randoms and they leave, the health goes down, but after we added the reconnect feature, it could be abused, so that is why we are removing it specifically on endless mode. So I guess on endless mode, don't play with people you know are just gonna leave randomly. Because the health is not gonna change. I mean, we could make it where the health lowers if they're gone past the time that they're able to reconnect. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can like just reconnect at any time. I think that's how Evan scripted it, so... Uh... Yeah, but those two big things are going to be fixed on Endless. Those were the two main things people were abusing to get really far. So after that's fixed, the Endless leaderboard is probably not going to be as high as the waves it currently is. And thanks to Doric, the dev, for becoming a channel member. But yeah, a lot of stuff with the Endless leaderboard is going to be a lot better in this update. And we're also going to reset the Endless Leaderboard again in this update. I know there are five days left, but like, a lot of stuff's changing with Endless Mode, so it kind of just makes sense, I guess. But the hunt is going to be on this update. 
even though it's going to be gone, the Easter event pass is still going to stay here. In my opinion, the hunt dates are kind of weird because Easter is literally tomorrow. So the hunt is ending right before Easter. Normally with events, I like to keep them a little bit before the event or like a little bit before the holiday, a little bit after the holiday. So the Easter event is going to stay here. Probably for like, well, we already have a timer. It's going to pretty much stay here for the next two weeks. So if you haven't finished that yet, good luck. There are still two weeks left on it. St. Patrick's event is also going to be removed in this update. It was supposed to be replaced with the April Fools event. The April Fools event is taking a little longer than expected. So we're going to have this update today. And then we're going to have the April Fools update in like a few days. So we're going to have two updates within a pretty short period of time. Because I mean, today is the 30th. April Fools is the first, so yeah, that means the next update is literally just gonna be in two days after this one. Thanks to Spooker91 for super chatting. And thanks to Galaxy for super chatting, they said hi, hello Galaxy. But, yeah, so April Fool's update, literally just gonna be in two days after this one. It's gonna be a pretty small event. All it's gonna be is a crate, and the crate is gonna be for coins. So it's not gonna be like two pay to win or anything. If you just save up coins, you can get it. You don't have to like grind an event currency or anything. And the reason I'm making it like that is because we already have the Easter event going on, and we just had the St. Patrick's event going on, so we've already got like a lot of other stuff might as well have one event where it's just like normal coins as the currency but i think that'll be pretty good because it'll allow people to summon a lot now i'll definitely have to balance it for that so that the rarest unit isn't insanely easy to get because with most of the crates and stuff it's 0 0.1 percent but if you can summon it with coins most of the stuff in the coin summon, mythics are 0.1%, and all the summonable ones have like hundreds of thousands, even like the newer ones that have only been out for like a few weeks have hundreds of thousands, so that'd make it like way too common, so I'll figure something out. But thank you to Vice C for becoming a channel member, thanks to Juwan Smith for becoming a channel member. And thank you to the baby is here for super chatting. They said you forgot about it. Titan clock upgraded. Okay, okay. I did not forget about it. I have a plan. It's a secret plan though. But I have an idea for an event. And uh, well, probably after this update, I want to add endless ranks because I've been talking about that for a while. It would completely fix the issue with alt on the leaderboard. It would make endless mode a lot more fun to grind. Like, basically some sort of endless levels system. I already have it all planned out. It would probably take Evan at least a week, maybe two weeks to script. But I think it would be totally worth it. I already have someone making the pictures for, like, all of the, the rank icons. And, yeah, that's going to be cool. So, that's pretty much the plan. But after that, after that, which that will happen in probably at least a couple of weeks... We're going to have, uh, we're, we're going to have, what was it? I forgot what we're going to have. Um, oh yeah, we're, we're going to have that event I was talking about with the upgraded Titan Clock Man and some other cool things. I have like a pretty cool idea for that event. I think you guys are really going to like it. There aren't really any holidays, unless if I'm forgetting any, between now and summer. Because, of course, in summer, I want to have, like, a summer event. But Easter is kind of, like, the last big one that's big enough for me to have an event for. There are probably, like, some national something days. But, like, a lot of those aren't big enough for an event. I don't know. I want to look it up on Google right now. What holiday... Okay, so April 2nd, let's see what holidays. April 2nd is apparently National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. I don't know, we could have like an event every day for like whatever 
like a random national something days there are, but yeah, anyways, I should probably give away some crates right now because it appears we have hit 9,000 likes. So that is gonna be the goal for 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. So that is 50 crates. And we have hit the subscriber goal, so that is 60 crates. So I'm gonna give away 60 crates. If you wanna create, just say your username in the live stream and chat. I'm gonna give three crates to 20 people. And I bought some gems before the stream. I did not buy any eggs. The Easter crate is a bit cheaper to get than the injured Titan crate. So I'm gonna make a vote. I'm gonna make a vote in the live stream chat. Which crate should I give away? And thanks to GamerBro2 for becoming a channel member. Thanks to Lara for super chatting. And thanks to Galaxy for upgrading their membership. And thanks to Seb for super chatting. They said they have an idea for the Holy Skivity Toilet. So what it does boosts the other toilet speed by 25% for 15 seconds. That is actually a good idea. That is actually a good idea. I think, I think Seb is cooking. Because we still have not added that toilet. And we did not add the normal camo toilet. And I, I told Evan we need to add it. I told my modeler we need to add it, but, um, did I tell my modeler we need to add it? I don't know, I don't know, he didn't make the model yet, so, I don't know, I guess whenever, whenever, like, we have, a, <laughs> like, a free time, because right now we're busy with, like, the April Fool's event in just two days, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna make the poll, injured titan crate or bunny crate, which crate should I give away? Vote in the live stream chat. Injured Titan crates are more expensive, but Bunny crate is gonna stay in the game longer. Or like, I mean, shorter. Bunny crate's gonna like leave the game in two weeks. Honestly, okay, the exclusive booster crate is probably gonna leave around when DJ TV Man reaches 10k, and the injured Titan crate is probably gonna leave whenever like. I don't know, <laughs> it's gonna leave sometime, but after the booster crate, it's gonna stay a bit longer. And thanks to the Spidey Dog for becoming a channel member. Alright, 88% of people voted for giving away the injured Titan crate. I'm gonna give away those now. So if you want injured Titan crate, just say your username in the live stream chat. I'm gonna give away 3 to 20 people. Just gonna copy your random people's names. Also, I might not stream the April Fools event because I'm gonna be gone for a few days because my birthday is like within the next few days. So I'm gonna like go celebrate that. It would be fun to stream on my birthday, but like it would also be fun to like hang out with friends and stuff. If you guys noticed, I have been taking a little bit of a break from YouTube recently. Like, I'm still doing a video, like, once every few days. Well, kind of like once every six days. I think that's 7 out of 20 people. Might have done a little more. But anyways, yeah, I've been doing a little bit less videos. I haven't really been running out of ideas. i just been getting kind of tired. I like doing videos every day because I've been doing daily videos for at least like a year. Like ever since Pet Simulator X. Like every now and then I miss a video if I was like sick or something, but like I was pretty much doing one every day. And it just gets like tiring after a while, I guess. But after we add endless ranks and some other stuff, which will make the game a lot more fun. I'll probably go back to daily videos. For now, it's just gonna be like one every few days, probably. All right, I think I'm on 16 out of 20. 17. 18. 
19 and 20. All right. Thanks to PokeCat for super chatting. And thanks to Emily the Sunflower A for super chatting. They said, how is your day going, Telanthric? My day is going pretty good. I basically just woke up and started live streaming. I kind of slept in. I've kind of been going to bed early late for the past few weeks. But, um, yeah, how's your day going? Let me know in the live stream chat. And thank you to Breadboy for becoming a channel member. And thanks to the Podman for super chatting. They said thanks for the great game. Thank you for playing. I'm excited for the Endless Leaderboard to finally have, like, no people using glitches. I've told Evan the glitches for, like, at least a month or two. And now they are finally going to be fixed. I still have a list with some more glitches, but none of them are as big or bad is the main two that are getting fixed in this update. But anyways, while I was giving away those crates, it appears we have hit 11,000 likes. So that is another two goals. And we have hit the subscriber goal. So that is the third goal. So I'm gonna give away another 30 crates. If you want crates, just say your username in the live stream chat. I'm going to give away 3 to 10 people. I'm going to count better this time so I don't accidentally give away, like, double. Thanks to Mr. Miner for super chatting, and thank you to MavYT for becoming a channel member for four months. MavYT is a real one. I've been friends with him since Pet Simulator X. Bro, my Pet Simulator X days were crazy, like... I don't know, just thinking about it, it's like, so weird to me now. That like, just doing videos on a different game than like, one that I own. Cause like, then I don't have any leaks, I, I can't like, control what's added to the game, like... I don't know, it's so much more fun, like, having a game and doing videos on it, versus like... Like, playing someone else's game and doing videos on it. Well, sometimes, sometimes. I did have fun doing a lot of Bed Wars videos back then. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, like, back in Bed Wars. When I used to, like, build things. And, bro, everyone thought I was, like, bad at ranked. But, like, <laughs> I actually was pretty good at ranked. I had Nightmare for, like, most of the seasons. But I just never really did ranked videos. Because they just didn't really do that good. But for some reason, like, my building videos always did really good, so I just kept doing that. But anyways, anyways, if you guys just came to the stream, the hunt is going to be gone this update. No more eggs. All the eggs on the maps are going to go away. Man face man's going to run away. All that's going to be gone. And thanks to the guy with the Russian name for becoming a channel member. I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce that. Thanks to Jackson Plays for becoming a channel member. And thanks to Wendy Leon for becoming a channel member. But, um... The Easter event, like the event pass, and Egg Island are gonna stay here for a while. When we add PvP... I think we might add, like, an actual battle pass to the game. Like, I think we might actually add seasons. And I think, like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to add, like, a, a premium tier to it. Because, like, I think it's good, like, when it's all free. Like, the event pass. So, if we do add seasons, it'll probably be all free. There might be, like, a few paid things, but it'll be, like, definitely a lot more free-to-play than, like, most games with battle passes. Especially those, like, bro, I completely dislike the games that have, like, maybe a few things on the free pass, but then, like... Everything good is on the actual, like, pay to battle pass. So if we do add some sort of battle pass or something, I can guarantee 
that a ton of things will be on the free-to-play part of it. There might be like a, a Robux part, but it won't be too like pay to win. Thanks to Muzz for becoming a channel member. Thanks to Dino Blocks for becoming a channel member. And thanks to Seb for super chatting. They said I think the camo toilet should have a dash ability, which stuns units, which I think is a cool idea. I think if we had the camo toilet, it'll probably be kind of weak, to be honest, because, like, there have been a lot more advancements in the camo toilets. Like, the strongest one right now is probably the helicopter camo toilet. I forgot exactly what we decided to call it, but there's, like, one that's on a helicopter and pretty strong. So if we did add the camo toilet, it would probably be around the strength of, like... The mutant toilet, so a bit weaker than the boss toilet. Oh yeah, I forgot if I told you guys this in my video yesterday, but we're also adding a new trading plaza. So we're gonna have a new trading plaza, we're gonna have a new toilet lab, we're gonna have a new toilet city, and a new palm paradise. All of those maps are being remade, they're gonna be a lot better. And by a lot, I mean a lot, like, like they're going to be as good quality as all the other maps, because if you guys have seen Egg Island, Desert, Caravan HQ, Coil HQ, all of those look a lot better than the first version of their maps, especially the ones I made in the beginning. Because, bro, in the beginning of the game, there was only Desert, Toilet City, and, and Cameraman HQ. And I built all three of those. And they were pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the original Toilet City, bro. The original Toilet City was also almost the same as the lobby. I don't know if you guys remember that old lobby we had that was literally just a square that had buildings with textures around it. And the ground was like the default Roblox concrete texture. Like, it's still crazy to me, like, that's how the game released. And, like, now it's this like really big in my opinion a really good looking lobby but anyways okay back to back to what i was doing earlier so we have hit 13,000 likes and we are almost or wait no we did hit the next sub goal so that is another 30 crates if you want crates say your username in the live stream chat i'm gonna give away another 30 so three to ten people Bro, I bought 100k gems, and now I only have 46k. There is another really big thing that I did not tell you guys about yet. It is going to be a secret for now, until the update comes out. But it is another thing that a lot of people have been asking for. It only took, like, maybe two days, three days for Evan to do, out of the nine days that we had to work on the update. But... It's definitely something that, like, a lot of people have wanted. And I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. Okay, wait, let me check something real quick.
I'm just fixing the percents of something right now to make sure that it is balanced. All right, there we go, I did it. All right, there we go. But yeah, this update is gonna have something really big that a lot of people have wanted for a long time. And it's gonna make something in the game a lot more convenient and it's gonna be pretty good. So, you guys will see. All I'm gonna say is for this update, you should have some coins. And also for the April Fools event, because I already said in the April Fools event, that crate is gonna be coins. So you guys should get that too. All right, or like, get ready for that, because yeah, that crate, it's probably not going to be that many coins, maybe just a little more than the current summon price, which is like 100. But thanks to Galaxy for becoming a channel member again, and thanks to Galaxy for gifting 10 memberships. And thanks to B for super chatting, and thanks to the baby is here for super chatting. But okay, we have hit the next subscriber goal, so I'm going to give away another 10 crates and we probably hit the like goal too let me check on that yeah it appears we have hit 14,000 likes so that is gonna be 20 crates so i'm gonna give away oh wait wait oh yeah okay so i'm gonna give away 20 crates one crate to 20 people all you gotta do is say your username in the chat, and I'll just gift people them randomly. All right, and I gotta make sure I, I count it <laughs> this time because the last few times, like, I didn't really count that well. I'm definitely gifted a lot extra. So that is already 6 out of 20. I should definitely make like some sort of multi-gift menu. I feel like that'd be pretty cool where like you can just put in a lot of people's usernames and then it just like says, would you like to gift 20 people this thing? Or like, I don't know, like just whatever the price is. Cause that would be like a lot harder to do if the crate costed Robux. Cause we'd have to have like some sort of bot that automatically makes like a a thing that like costs whatever it is. But with the gems, we could just script it to be like so if you gift 20 people something, then it's 20 times the price. Alright, I think there is one more. So yeah, now that is 20 out of 20. I only have 9,000 gems left, 
buy a hundred thousand gems was not enough. But I know I said this before, but now it's been like a bit later and we've seen it in action. I think the marketplace and the trading plaza was definitely a good idea because before no one was saving their gems. I barely saw anyone with over like a couple hundred, but now we go to the marketplace and there are a lot of people with over a thousand. So now gems finally are like more useful. And also it's fun just to like hop around servers, find things for good deals, sell them higher in other servers. Oh yay, Evan added the sort thing. I don't remember when that happened, but you can sort by exclusive, ultimate, godly, mythic, legendary. There are a lot of legendaries, kinda. It's like probably the most common tier. Cause like just any unit in the series that is good, but like not super good, like a mythic is just like a legendary. Cause usually mythics are either the best things in most events or just upgraded versions of legendaries in the series. And we only have six uncommons and two basics. We need to add another basic unit. We need to add another basic unit. Well, let's see, best rarity, worst rarity, highest price, lowest price, Easter Speaker Man for a one. I mean, that does make sense. They are kind of 32 million of them. That means like the, the market cap <laughs> for Easter Speaker Man is like 32 million gems, but... For the Mech Bunny Titan, they're almost a hundred thousand. They're almost a hundred thousand. I wonder if that's a good deal. I do not know. I do not know the values that well. But anyways, anyways, we are almost gonna hit the next subscriber goal. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And the update is in 26 minutes, so we are officially a little past halfway there. This trading plaza is nice, but at the same time it's pretty basic. There aren't that many textures, there aren't invisible walls, so you can kind of just like like jump off like... Wait, what? I can't go off right there? I can jump off right here though. But yeah, it's like... I think... I think that a trading plaza upgrade is going to be good, because this update we're going to have a new trading plaza. And we're also going to have, like like I said earlier, if you guys just came in the stream and here earlier, we're going to have three new maps. So all of the maps in the game are going to officially be redone in the same style, because the first one was I'm pretty sure the desert and then we did endless mode and a few other ones so now all the maps are gonna be redone to be higher quality which is really good because like I, de I just want to make the game as like high quality as possible now as we slowly add new features And I should probably remake some of the UIs sometimes, because if you compare like the newer UIs, like, I mean, the hunt is kind of a newer UI. It's kind of similar to the firework hunt we had, but like a bit different. Things are more rounded. Pictures are a little bit better. But then if you look at some of the older UIs in the game, like I made all the UIs, by the way, but like some other ones, like, Quests could definitely be remade. But if we go to like the AFK farm, like this UI hasn't been changed since we started the game. Like it is really basic. Like it just has basic text saying all these things. And I didn't even know what like how to make it where the letters weren't touching the bottom of it. So like the Y is kind of 
going through the bottom for like a few pixels. And it's basic, you can tell what it says, but it could definitely be improved. I could add like a background on it. I could definitely give this UI like a lot better looks. Anyways, I don't know why people keep gifting me crates and bro, Evan needs to fix it. I have gift notifications off, but that does not look like it's off. I don't know why people gift me crates though, I'm the owner, people keep gifting me crates and like a few days ago I had maybe 400 crates built up so I just joined a trading plaza and just gave it to someone random, like I gave them all the crates. But um, I think it's time for me to give something cool away, so as you can see I have two Titan Bunny cameramen, both are signed. I'm gonna give one away in the live stream chat. I'm just gonna like send it through the post office right here. Also, Evan said he upgraded his servers, so the post office and marketplace should not go down that much. Cause usually like right before the update, they have a really high volume, like a lot of people are using them, so it just kinda crashes. And when it crashes, it like instantly closes so that like people don't lose their things. But anyways, okay, how should I give away the Titan Bunny Cameraman? Should I... Should I do it randomly? Or... Second option. Um, first to guess something random. Like, like I could say I'm thinking of a number or something, and... That's probably not gonna be it but I'm just giving you an example. So, I put the vote in the chat. How should I give it away? Okay, right now randomly is winning at 54%, 55%. It looks like people want me to give it away randomly. All right, the people have spoken. 53% said I should give it away randomly. So that is what I'm gonna do. So just say your username in the live stream chat. I'm just gonna scroll. I will scroll three times. So I have my mouse, or I have like my chat at the bottom right now. It's going by pretty fast. But I'll just scroll three times up, and then whoever my mouse lands on is gonna get it. Because when you scroll in the YouTube chat, it like freezes. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that in three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna scroll up one, two, three times. And my mouse has landed on someone. Alright, so congratulations to this guy. You get Bunny Man. Alright, where is he? Alright, wait, what? Okay, there we go. Titan Bunny Cameraman. Let's send it. Alright, now I'm gonna give away another thing I have two Santa TV men I don't know how I got the second one I do not remember it I did not open any Santa crates just there I don't know but what I do know is someone is gonna get it now and I'm gonna give it away the same way I guess so I'm gonna scroll in the chat again by the way, thanks to Paula for becoming a channel member, and thanks to Murder Drones for becoming a channel member. But okay, I'm gonna scroll in three, two, one. I'm gonna scroll up one, two, three times in the chat. And my mouse has landed on this guy, so congratulations. I'm gonna put like some turkey emojis, and maybe like a taco. All right, there we go. The next one, the next unit, I have two green laser cameramen. But this time, okay, since I gave away the last two randomly, and only 50-something percent of the vote was randomly, now I'm gonna give it away, the first to guess something. So the first person to guess what my favorite color is, and say their username in the same message, is gonna win it. And I don't think it's gonna be too hard to guess my favorite color. Um, yeah, okay, so good luck with that. But you gotta say your username in the same message. If you don't say your username in the same message, then I, like, won't know your username. 
So then I can't gift it to you, so good luck. Someone said laser. I don't think laser is a color. Alright, the first person to guess green was actually the first person to say a color too, so <laughs> the first guess was right. Is this guy player guest? Thanks to Sun for becoming a channel member. But here, wait, this user does not exist! Alright, well I guess they don't get it. <laughs> Oh wait, I think they weren't guessing a color and that was just someone earlier in the chat that said their username and they just happened to have the word green in their username. Okay, so the first person to actually guess it, the, well the first two people to guess green did not say their username. The third person is 100ER66, so congratulations, they get it. And Dual Blade Bunny Man is the next unit I'm gonna give away. I have two of those guys too. The first person to guess what my favorite food is is gonna get it. The first person to guess what my favorite food is and that that's gonna be a little difficult because there are a lot of foods. It's not something rare but it's also not a super common one like like pizza or sushi or something. So good luck, make sure you say your username in the same message. Make sure you say your username in the same message though, so that like... Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a hint. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. It is something that there is a restaurant for, and the restaurant is three letters. Someone said turkey. That is close. What is similar to a turkey? Oh wait, <laughs> that's weird. A bunny crate just appeared by the dual blade bunny man. I guess if you get gifted something then it like appears in your inventory even though this menu is only supposed to show oh someone guessed it but they didn't put their username in the message the first person who guessed it did not put their username in the message all right i'm just gonna give you guys a big hint it is something to do with chicken it's something to do with chicken the first person to guess it is gonna get this signed dual blade buddy man and the first person to guess it did not put their username in the message. And still only one person has guessed it. Some people are saying restaurants, but okay, there we go. Finally, someone has done it. It is fried chicken. And the person who guessed it is OFC my account lost. Well, now they are not lost anymore because they have found the dual blade bunny man. I'm gonna send them like, the only thing that's fried that there's an emoji of is a fried shrimp. That's like close enough, so I'm gonna send it. There we go! Alright, now that I have done that, there are 12, or no, 15 minutes left until the update. And we have hit the subscriber goal, so I'm gonna give away some more crates. Bro, I am actually, like, getting close to 2 million subscribers. That is crazy. I did not expect to, like, get that many subscribers this soon. I thought it would take, like, years, because I don't know if you guys remember, like, back in Bed Wars, bro, my channel was, like, dying, and I was getting, like, like less than 100 subscribers a day, but, like, I don't know, it's been crazy. Okay, yeah, so, subscriber roll, 10 crates, and we have a hit the like goal of 17,000, so 15, 16, 17, three like goals, one subscriber goal, that is 40 crates, that is gonna be 40 crates, so I'm gonna give three crates to 10 people, 
and then one person is going to be lucky and get 10 crates. Am I going to have enough gems for this? I do not know. All right, that is five out of 10. Wait, I don't have enough gems. Nuh-uh, I'm gonna buy some more gems then. All right, 10,000. I'm gonna get 20,000 just in case. All right, there we go. Now let's try that again. I forgot how many people I was at though. Six out of ten, I think. All right. So then that'd be seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one extra in case I miscounted. But now, okay. Thank you to Galaxy for super chatting. He said man face back up. Oh yeah, that reminds me, bro. The, the Ohio... No, the April Fool's event. We're gonna add Ohio to the game. I'm not gonna explain any farther, but we're gonna add Ohio to the game. It's, it's gonna be great, I promise. There are so many man faces. There's like a turkey. That's like... I don't know. You guys are gonna see on April Fool's. It is gonna be crazy. But okay, okay, okay. So... So, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, 10 crate giveaway, 10 crate giveaway. So I'm just gonna choose the person that gets 10 crates randomly. If you want 10 crates, just say your username in the chat. I'm gonna do what I did earlier where I scroll. Thanks to Dider for super chatting. But okay, I'm gonna scroll in the chat. Also, thanks to Zulex for super chatting and Yol's Shorts for super chatting. But okay, I'm gonna scroll and choose just like whoever my mouse lands on. And thanks to Brian for super chatting. But okay, three, two, one. I'm gonna scroll one, two, three times. And the person my mouse has landed on to get the 10 crates is this guy. Congratulations. You get the 10 crates, and there we go. But okay, the April Fool's event. Ooh, like I said, okay, I might be able to stream it. I don't know if I'll be able to stream it yet. I don't want to make any promises, but I might be able to stream it because, again, like my birthday is around that time, so I'm going to be on for like a few days. But we will see. We will see. Anyways, the update is in 11 minutes. So again, this update, just want to let you guys know again, for those that just came to the stream, Man Face Man, gone. The Hunt, gone. St. Patrick's Day event, gone. The only thing staying is the Easter event. And Endless Mode is going to be a reset. I don't know if Evan's going to give out the Titan Drillman again, because we're going to reset it with five days left it was just given out like a couple days ago so like i don't know that would be adding more titan drillman too fast but anyways they're only well they're supposed to be 700 13 still need to be claimed so far up until 600 every single time all 100 people have claimed it i wonder if eventually we'll have someone on the leaderboard that just doesn't claim it and then we don't have a smooth 100 number anymore. But... Yeah, so they're basically only 700 right now. Still definitely the rarest unit. Maybe in like a month or two. Well, every month like... Basically another 500 exists. So... In like a few months it's gonna be a little less rare. Still definitely the rarest unit. And then we're probably gonna remove it after well if you think about it a year has 52 weeks so that'd be 5200 if we had it up for a whole year which we're probably not gonna have the same one for a whole year maybe we'll change it like once every few months so like only a few thousand of them will exist 
And I might buff the guy soon, the Corrupted Cameraman, because he only does 25,000 DPS besides being the second rarest unit. And the rarest unit does 170,000 DPS. Anyways, we have hit the subscriber goal. Can we hit 1.9 million subscribers this stream? Can we do that? You guys should subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. And, and we'll see. We will see. You also hit 18,000 likes, which was the next like goal. So that is another 20 crates. So I'm going to give away one crate to 20 people. So if you want one, just say your username in the live stream chat. Thank you to everyone for subscribing. Okay, that is 4 out of 20. That is 10 out of 20. So now... Another 10 crates. Wait, I don't have enough gems again. I gotta buy more. I bought 100k before the stream. I already bought 20k. So that brings my total up to 130k gems. Alright, so that is going to be 14 out of 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and finally, 20 crates. There we go. So now, there are only 6 minutes left to get ready for the hunt and the St. Patrick's Day event to leave. So it looks like the St. Patrick's event is going to end with about 30 million lucky speakermen. That is a lot of lucky speakermen. 1.1 million leprechaun cameramen. So that isn't really going to be too expensive of a unit. And 32,000 Titan Clovermen. Now there are a lot of crates left over. They're not that expensive. I guarantee after all the crates are opened, there are probably going to be like 40k Titan Clovermen. I still have 181 Clovers. I might as well buy some crates. Okay, let's see what we can get. Thank you to Brian S for super chatting. He said, "Man face, man tower, please." Ooh, that that is a good idea. That is a good idea. We might have an entire man face man event with like an entire man face map. I think I think that might be a good idea. I think that might be a really good idea. Let me write that one down. Man face man event. I don't know what units I'd add in that event. Probably just like... The most common one would be Man Face Speaker Man, Man Face Camera Man, Man Face TV Man, and then there would be like the Man Face Man unit is like the rarest event. And I don't know what he would do. I don't know what his attack would be. But I'm gonna figure something out. So I have ideas for like, okay, one, two, three events. I have three events completely planned, or no, I have two events completely planned out. Now I have the idea for the third event, the Man Face Man event, so. We'll probably have an event for like every other big thing. So like, well, at least until summer, so. 
here's how the plans are looking. We're gonna add the endless ranks, basically a level system first. And then after that, we're gonna have the clock event with the Titan upgraded clock man. And then after that, we're gonna have... Well, that's probably gonna... The ranks thing is probably gonna take at least until the middle of April. And then that clock event's probably gonna be at like the end of April. So then like... In the middle of May, we can probably add PvP mode. And then around the end of May... Well, that's around like when summer starts, so we'll probably have the summer event then. But summer lasts for two months, so we could probably have like a summer event part one and part two. Like there would probably be a summer currency, and then like... A summer crate and then for part two of the summer event there would be like a second crate or something i don't know it, it would be an event that lasts like two months so that'd be like a long event so instead of a, a summer crate we could probably just have like a summer summon units <laughs> thing and like i think that'd be pretty cool i should write that down too Because then we could add, like, some new summer units every update instead of, like, a crate where, like, we have to finish all the units then and they're all just locked away in a crate. We could probably have, like, some sort of summer crate, but we'd also have, like, a different summer summon units area. I think that'd be cool. So I do have some pretty big plans for the summer update. I, of course, want to do things a bit differently. So, like... We'll probably have an event pass for summer, but instead of 50 tiers, maybe like 100 tiers. Because again, it is two months. It is two months long. So we would definitely have to have a lot more units for that. The summer event would take a lot more time. So we'd probably have like smaller updates to the summer event, like initially something. Maybe we could have just like the first 50 tiers and the next 50 tiers unlock like... A couple weeks into summer and they all just start out locked or something i don't know i have i'm having a lot of ideas right now for that event but the update is in one minute and 45 seconds so that is pretty soon we have also hit the subscriber roll so that is gonna be 10 crates and we have also even hit the like goal at 19k so that's another 20 crates because the update is in one minute to make this easier I'm gonna gift 10 crates to two people. So the first person to get 10 crates, I'm just gonna scroll randomly. One, two, three. I have scrolled three times in the chat. And my mouse has landed on Cactus Guy 49. So he gets 10 crates. And the second person, I'm gonna scroll again. By the way, thanks to Battle Jacks for super chatting. Okay, I'm gonna scroll in three, two, one. It is one minute before the update, so I'm gonna gift this guy congratulations to alex for getting 10 crates i do not have enough gems let me buy another 10,000 gems i've bought 140k gems now there we go and there's the 10 crates all right so so 30 minutes or not 30 minutes 30 seconds until this update And I'm thinking of like adding something new entirely for the summer event besides the summer summon units thing. Because I don't want it to be like too similar to the other events. Like of course I want it to have its own map and stuff. Maybe we could have like a completely different type of game mode where like whenever you place units instead of like staying there, <laughs> the units like walk around and you have to defend like like a beach or something summer related like you could maybe maybe you have a sand castle and you got to defend the sand castle and you can place units around it but the units like walk around i think that would be really fire honestly i think that'd be a great summer event
Okay, that's, that will definitely take a while. All my ideas for the summer event. Okay, the good thing about new things is it's fun, but that also means we can't reuse any of the scripts. Like, the main reason why you see most, like, popular games adding the same things over again. Like, for example, our event pass, we already have the scripts for that, so it's not too hard to add another one. But it is fun to add new stuff. But it's also like really time consuming, so the summer event will probably take at least like a few weeks of working on it before. But we will see, we will see. But okay, episode set. wait. This is episode 72 update! Why, why Evan put episode 71 update? Evan said LOL when I sent him it. Okay, well anyways, this is the episode 72 update. I don't know why Evan put episode 71 update on the update log. He's gonna fix it though. So, okay. St. Patrick's Day event ran away. And so did the man face man. No more hunt. No more St. Patrick's event. It is gone. It is gone now. The hunt has ended. So, like, it's also the end for that Roblox timer thing, so the Hunt game is probably gonna, like, close soon. But, yeah, that is the end of the Hunt and the St. Patrick's Day event. Easter event, still gonna be here for 13 days and 22 hours. But, yeah, you guys can see... Bro, why <laughs> do I still have those particles? Okay, I told Evan to fix it. So now, but look, look, the upgraded, upgraded mech cameraman. Look at him punch things. And look at the police toilet. He can walk, and he can, like, hit things. He has his shield. He has a riz. Okay, so, endless changes, mythic crate and summon. So that is the thing I was telling you guys about. That I was going to keep a secret. So now if we go over to the summon units... You might notice something a lot different. There are two crates. There are two crates. There is a mythic crate and the basic crate. Wait, I'm gonna tell Evan. I have a double luck game pass. So why doesn't it show the calculated percents because I have the double luck game pass if you have the double luck game pass it's supposed to display as that but look you can select the crates now there's the basic crate and the mythic crate the mythic crate is a thousand two hundred but the Mythic and Godly are basically 15 times more likely to get. So, instead of like, okay, so it's like 12 times more expensive, but the good stuff is 15 times more likely to get. And you can, okay, the Legendary is 6 times more likely to get. So, wait, I'm a... I'm gonna tell Evan something real quick. I'm gonna buff the chances for Legendary, so Legendary is 15% too.
Okay, okay, so... Yeah, this crate is gonna make it a lot easier to summon things if you already have a lot of coins. And it also makes it easier to summon, if you think about it, like... It is... 3 fifteenths you save, so that's 1 fifth, so it's like 20% better chances to use this crate versus the basic crate for trying to get the rare things. But right now there's only two crates, the basic crate and mythic crate. We can add one in the middle, that's kind of like in between, because 1200 is kind of expensive. We could add one that's like 500 coins soon, if you guys want me to do that. But, um, yeah, so that, like, also for some reason doesn't display if you have a luck boost or if you have the luck game pass, which it still does apply to it. It just doesn't display right now for some reason. I don't know. Evan needs to fix that. But anyways, yeah, that is the new summon units. We also added Mythic to auto sell. I know Mythics are good, but I have had a lot of people ask me to turn on or like have it where you can auto sell Mythics. So I guess if you already have a lot of Mythics and don't want more and don't want to try selling them, then you can turn that on. Wait. Aw, oh, there isn't the text anymore below it. I've been like removed that after like so long when I asked them if you can do that. But, I mean, the summon buttons are a little bit larger now, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But this is like a scroll menu, so if we add a third crate, you can just like scroll down. So, yeah, that's what's new with summon units. There are also new boards, like, above all the maps. So look, the new board doesn't cover any of it, and I think it looks a lot better. And there's also the new map for Toilet City. Like, look at that. You can already tell by the screenshot, it is a lot better. than the new map for Palm Paradise. And the new map for Toilet Lab. And the new map for the Trading Plaza. Let's go to the Trading Plaza real quick so I can show you guys. The Endless Mode board has been reset also. People are starting to, like, grind on that again. And we're gonna remove... Well, we still need Evan to like fix it, but we're gonna make it where we, like when you ban someone, it hides them on the leaderboards, which will be good because there are like still a lot of bots on this, like the QWE things and Viper something, the AA clone boss. Like there are a lot of bots on the leaderboard still. A lot of them are, or actually pretty much all of them are banned. Like, it isn't against the rules to have multiple accounts on the leaderboard, but it is against the rules to, like, hack and have, like... Like, okay, you can tell if someone's hacking by if you join them in a match, which, like, admins can do that. So you join them in a match and build a box around them. And if you build a box around them, if they have like a macro or are like legitimate, then they can't build because they can't see. But somehow the hackers, like no matter where they're standing, if you build a box around them or put them under the map, they still place the units in the exact same locations. So they have like auto farm hacks, which that is not allowed. But anyways, trading plaza, teleport. And look at the new trading plaza! There's like this wooden thing and you can climb on it. And look, now I'm at the top of the wooden thing. And there's a different looking marketplace. It looks more like a marketplace now instead of like a weird building. And then there's like uh, just a lot more decorations around the map. Looks a lot better. Thanks to Rebecca for super chatting. But, um, yeah, there are also some places where we could add some more things. Like, there is this area. Doesn't have anything in it yet, but we could definitely add something cool here in the future. I'm just kind of thinking of what else we need to add to the trading plaza. Because I was thinking of adding in booths where people can sell their own things, but I decided on the marketplace. Because it would just be, like, a lot less laggy. And you could see all the things in one place instead of running around the server. 
looking at like what every single person is selling. But yeah, Evan did not add the settings yet. But he did add the sort and stuff, so that's good. Upgraded camera spider. I'm gonna give away a 10 upgraded camera spiders. Let me buy them first. Why does the starter pack still show for me? I thought I already bought it. I'm gonna buy it again. Yay, I get the starter pack. And the toilet pro pack. Alright, now that's gone. I'm gonna buy a 10 upgraded camera spiders and then give them away. Well, I'm gonna buy 11 actually, because I want one. Okay, this is gonna take a while. And then the other guy is a mythic, so I need to go back to the lobby to buy that one. The summon shop. Alright, I did not count that much. I have no idea what I'm at right now. Probably at least a few more though. I mean, if I buy extra, I can always just give a little bit more away. I'm gonna buy two more and then count how many I have. Alright, let's see how many I have. So... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need to buy two more. Alright, there we go. 1... And... 2... Alright, there we go. I have now gotten all 11. I'm gonna sign them all, and then I'm gonna give them away. I'm gonna give away 10 and keep one, because... I, like, want to have one of every unit. But okay, now that we did that, let's go back to the lobby. Also, you can type slash plaza now. But... Or, I, I think, okay, Evan said it was going to be slash trading. I asked him if he could make it slash plaza, because I think that makes more sense. But, I don't know which one it is. Let's, let's see, slash plaza? Yeah, it is slash plaza, okay. Okay, he said it's both, he said it's both, that's good. Alright, let's summon the upgraded mech with the new mythic crate. So let's go over to summon units. Oh yeah, by the way, now... Wait, where are the teleports? Oh, there, it's on the left side. I thought it was gonna be on the right side. Okay, well, teleports is on the left side now, so you can teleport to update area, post office, trading plaza, endless mode, AFK area. Okay, actually, I wanna have a vote. I wanna have a vote. I wanna have a vote. Where should teleports be? Left side or right side? Also, again, some people are saying this stuff about this in the summon units shop. It doesn't change the percents anymore whenever you use the luck boost. I don't know why. I told Evan to fix it. It still does give you the luck boost, though. It just doesn't display it. So, um... Yeah, anyways... Wait, why? The mech is not on the mythic crate, so I'm gonna still have to summon from the basic crate for it. I told Evan to put it on the mythic crate. Alright, let's auto-sell everything except for mythics. 
and just go crazy. I have not bought coins in a while and I still have 71k coins. I had 150k like a few updates ago. Which is why the St. Patrick's event is going to be good because like if you grind a lot you kind of never need coins or like never need the farm coins again. Come on, where is the guy? Where is the mythic? I need to get him. Okay, 64% of people voted for the teleports to be on the left top of screen. That is pretty good. 36% of people voted for the right side. I thought it was going to be on the right side because, okay, there are some benefits to both for me. So the left side is completely open. There's nothing on there except for the Roblox button in the chat. But on the right side, there is the area above the leaderboard. So that could be filled with buttons. So, like... I don't know, we might add some more buttons soon to do things, but the teleports is gonna make it a lot more convenient. A lot of stuff was just like quality of like the gameplay changes, like endless mode, having the bugs being fixed, adding a mythic crate in the summons, and adding that teleports thing. Yes, I got the mythic! I got the mythic! Okay, now we have it. We have the mythic. Alright, let me sign it. Um, only almost 3,000 exists right now, but it does 28k DPS, which is pretty good. Okay, next, next vote thing. Next vote thing. Buff upgraded Titan Bunny Man, or Titan Bunny Cameraman, that's what I mean. Because that guy was at the end of the battle pass thing, and he is not that good. He only does 25k DPS, so should I buff him? Alright, 94% of people voted yes. 93%. Alright, 94% again, it keeps going back and forth. But yeah, most people think I should buff him, so I'm gonna buff the upgraded Titan Bunny Man right now. Okay, time to buff Titan Bunny Cameraman. Alright. He only has four levels. But I'm I'm buffing him a bit right now. Okay, so now at level two, he's gonna do three thousand five hundred damage, which is pretty good. Actually, at level 2, he's going to do 4,000 damage. And then at level 3... At level 3, he's going to do 14,000 damage. And then at max level...
Okay, wait, let me do the math real quick. It does have piercing though, so that is a pretty good is a pretty good thing. Alright, I have buffed him. So now whenever the game restarts, he's gonna be a bit better. Cause yeah, he isn't even stronger than the new mythic, but after this he's gonna be a bit stronger than it. So that'll be good. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the stream. So before it ends, we have hit the subscriber goal, so I'm gonna give away 10 crates for that. And, and we have hit 21,000 likes, so that is another 20 crates. So I'm gonna give away 30 crates. So three crates to 10 people. If you want some crates, just say your username in the live stream chat. So the price of 30 crates, I'm gonna need to buy another 10k gems. All right, I only had to buy 150k gems this stream. I mean, that's kind of a lot, but like, I think that's the second most I've ever bought during a stream. Anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right too, that's right too, the gifting the upgraded spider. I almost forgot about that too. Alright, so I'm gonna gift the crates and the upgraded spider. So just say your username in the chat if you want some crates. People are still saying the luck boost is not working. It does work, but the display is just glitched right now. It doesn't like display the percent change. So Evan needs to fix that. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And whenever the servers restarted, it sent me to a new server. This is not a private server. I don't know how two other people got in it, but I'm gonna also give them like some crates. Because I just have like a lot of bunny crates because people gifted me a lot. Alright, and then let me trade this guy. Alright, now I'm going to give away the 10 spiders. So just say your username in the chat. I'm gonna give them away randomly when we go to the post office. But I have 10 of the upgrade camera spiders. Only 4,000 exist right now, so technically I own like, all right, one, 1,000, or wait, no. A okay, 10 of 1,000 would be 1%. So I own 0.25% of the upgraded camera spiders. Probably, I don't know if I did the math wrong. Why is the post office closed? I'm gonna tell Evan, why post office closed? We need to fix it. We need to fix it. And I need to also change the title of the game. Okay, episode 72, part one, the main changes. Crate and listen mode bugs fixed. 
upgraded camera spider, upgraded met cameraman, new maps for Trading Plaza, Palm Paradise, Toilet City, and Toilet Lab. Alright, those were the main things in the update, so I'm just going to leave it as of that. Alright, now the time to put the new icon and stuff on the game. Bro, the new icon with the upgraded camera spider is pretty fire. Too bad Roblox takes like a while to like allow it. Thank you to Rebecca for super chatting again. Alright, I've put the new icons and stuff on the game. Evan said the post office is closed because the servers are at 100%, but I thought he said earlier he upgraded the servers. I don't know, maybe he like upgraded it evil style or he like unupgraded it or something. Alright, well if he upgraded it, it should come back soon. But for now, to give them away, I guess if I can't use the post office. I'm gonna give them away by, okay, first I'm gonna turn on my joins, get ready to join my profile, my username is the same as my YouTube name for those that don't know. So, okay, now my joins are on, and I'm in an empty server right now pretty much, there are only two other people, so just join me on Roblox as fast as you can, and I'll give away two in this server, hop servers, give away another two, and so on, so... Okay, wait, I'm gonna also close my Roblox studio, because sometimes if you're in studio, it doesn't let people join you. Bro, why does Roblox studio not want to close? There we go. Alright, now it should say that I'm in game. Okay, so yeah, I guess the main things that need to be fixed, luckily there weren't any super big glitches, the main things that just need to be fixed are the boosts actually displaying, and also the post office, like, going down. But these have, like, separate rotations, so, like, if you're trying to get a certain legendary or something, or like a mythic then these are like separate so that'll be like easier to get what you need especially because there are like there are like a lot of different mythics in the game now there are like one two three four five six seven and i did 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 mythics 18 so before since it resets every hour well i mean a lot of them are event mythics so they're not on the summon on the summon they're only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, there are nine on the summon, which would mean 
you only see it one every nine hours, but now on average you'll see everything once every four and a half hours. So that, that's a bit better. That is a bit better, but I don't know why no one's able to join me. I'm not in a private server, I swear. I think. Um, it doesn't show me in a private server when I go to the server list. My private server is empty right now. But let me try joining an empty server and see if you guys can join me now. Alright, try joining me now. Let's see, let's see. If you guys can join me... Um, oh, yep, it looks like people can definitely join me in this server. Thanks to Loves Bacons for becoming a channel member. But, um, okay, I'm gonna hop servers again after this, so don't worry if you didn't get in. But I'm gonna give away two of the, of the guys, the upgraded camera spiders. Right here. Okay, so the plan, the plan for this one, I'm gonna give them away in a pretty simple way. What does it mean I'll have permission to run this command? I am the owner of the game! <laughs> Bro, what does it mean I'll have permission? <laughs> what did Evan do? Evan just said it broken. Like, why is it broken? Okay, well, I guess Evan... Or I guess Admin broke this update somehow. But, that's another thing that needs to be fixed, I guess. You said to check if the post office is working now. Let's see, let's see. Alright, post office. Nope. Bro, how am I supposed to, like... If I don't have permission to run this command, like... Bro, I don't know why we have like some weird admin video like this. Honestly, sometime I should just spend a long time making like an admin menu. Like an actual like custom admin menu. Because I could make one. It would take a while though. Because we have like tens of commands. I'd have to add like different menus for like different things. But it would be a lot better than whatever this is. Anyways... Okay, if I can't do that, if I can't do that, because I was planning to just, like, build, like, a block really high in the air, teleport to it so no one can get over there, and then do the admin command to teleport someone random, and then whoever I teleport would get it. But now, I'm gonna say, who says turkey first gets it? Alright, let's see who says it first, let's see who says it first. A guy named him. Alright. And there are two people. Alright. There we go. He said turkey first. Now he gets the spider. Now I'm gonna say who says Ohio first gets it. Who can say Ohio? R.I.P. Slash said it first. Alright. There we go. There are two in this server. I'm a hop servers again. And let's see, let's see. He said the post office works for him. Alright, let's see if the admin fixed admin yet. Bro, the admin menu doesn't even open now. I think Evan, like, unfixed it even more. Post office is still closed. Okay, well, I'ma say... First to teleport to summon area gets it. So... Good luck, I don't know who's gonna teleport to the summon area first. Oh, there, that guy, purple guy, purple guy. R-O-O-P. 
All right, congratulations, purple guy, you get it. Upgraded camera spider. Okay, now I'm gonna say first to teleport to endless mode. All right, let's see who can teleport to endless mode first. Oh, that guy, that guy with the hat, Reaper Sands. All right, there we go. I wonder if I just like auto click it, if it'll like lag. I know like some games that have teleports that lag like that, so they usually add like a, a delay between teleports. Thanks to YT Roblox, Oyun for becoming a channel member. But yeah, these teleports are gonna make it a lot more convenient. I think the teleport menu should close after you like click one or click out of it. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much the update. I still have a few more of the spiders to give away. I'm a hop servers again. I wish the post office worked, so it could be, like, completely random. No way I completed my quest. Alright, nope. Admin still won't even open. But you know what will? Oh, I <laughs> there a pineapple right there. And then just true a lot of times. I don't know what's true, but... Um, anyways... I'm gonna say knock knock, and the first person to say who is there is gonna get it. Alright, Bacon was the first person to say who is there. So he gets the upgrade camera spider. Right now only 8,000 of those exist. I'm just gonna say, who won camera spider, and the first person to say me gets it. Alright, Billy Bob was the first person to say me. Uh uh wait, no, I can't use admin to trade him. I have to whisper him, turn trade on! Alright, let's see. Oh, there we go, there we go. Camera spider time. Okay, now that I did two in that server, it's time to hop servers again, so good luck joining me. Alright. How should I give it away this server? I'm just gonna say first person to say Taco Bell Skibbity gets it. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, there's that guy. R.I.P. My account was the first guy to say it. He gets the upgraded camera spider. All 
All right, the first person to say Ohio toilet gets it this time. Bro, this is like a typing test. <laughs> like, like, if you practice your typing a lot in school, you have like a good chance to like get it, I guess. All right. Time for the last two. I'm joining a new server. And this time, this time, I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna say the first two people to find me. Now I am live streaming. I think people are gonna be able to find me easy, but no, I need to run away. I need to escape. I need people to not see me. Hiding. Well, I gotta get- I gotta actually hide. I gotta like, make sure no one sees me when I hide. Alright, I am hiding now. I'm hiding. The first two people- Oh! Oh, that guy. Jared and the true Void Good. Jared needs to trade me. Will this guy trade me? Alright, there we go. And then Jared. He still has his trades disabled. I don't think he wants the camera spider. Okay, I'm gonna give him... He said am sending it. But like, what, what does he mean he's sending it? Jared, if you don't, what does he mean? He said he has them on, but that does not look on. He said it lagging, but it says disabled. Okay, well, I'm gonna check if the mailbox works again. Oh, there we go. He turned his trades on. Turned his trades on. All right. Upgrade camera spider, the 10th one. Finally, I have given away all 10. The post office. Post office works again. Yay, I haven't fixed it. Alright, well, that is going to be pretty much it for the stream. We have hit the subscriber roll again, though, so I'm going to give away another 10 crates for that. And we have hit the like goal, so I'm going to give away another 10 for that, too. But this time, since I normally do, like, 1 to 10 people or whatever, I'm going to do... I'm gonna give away 10 crates to two people, so good luck. If you win, you're gonna get 10 crates. I'm gonna have to buy another 10k gems for this one, though. So just say your username in the chat. I'm gonna scroll, and whoever my mouse lands on it is gonna get it. So I'm gonna scroll in 3, 2, 1. Congratulations to this guy. They get 10. Wait, nope, they don't exist. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Bro, people are pinging me in the chat to fix the game. Evan is the scripter. Evan needs to fix it. And the only thing that really needs to be fixed right now is it displays the summon units percents as like... It, it doesn't change the display when you use a luck boost. Luck boosts still work though. They're just the way Evan changed it to display, because now it displays both of these, he didn't like make it also display the new percents whenever you use a boost, so that needs to be fixed. But okay, I'm gonna scroll again in the chat in three, two, one. All right, there we go. So there we go, I gifted those. I gifted the spider guys. So now, um, I'm gonna like, go eat breakfast. So thank you guys for coming to the stream. I will see you guys in the next video. Probably gonna do a video on the game today. 
But, okay, bye. But yeah, I didn't do a video on the, the last update because I kind of sick. So I just like went back to sleep after. But I'm not sick anymore, so I can do a video. Okay.